Hey guys, it's Speed here. We're doing another video on Spooky's Jump Sky Mansion. I'm already in the game because I want to get right into it, so let's go. Done with my intro. Push space to skip. Push enter. We're getting into this game again. I'm, I might have to turn my volume down so you guys can hear me. Let me turn my volume down just a tiny bit. Hey, I click the volume. I click on that. Why you go away? Where'd my volume go? What the... I want that down here. What the... Whatever. I'll click it right here then. Why you no work? There we go. 78 will be fine. Whatever. Let's go. I want to get into the game anyway. Let's go! We're gonna continue! I wonder what endless mode is. Find out what endless mode is in the video too, guys. Do Kyle Meyer Hospital as well. Anyway. Let's go! We're in this game. We're in the game now. We're, we're in the game. I forgot I need to use the mouse. Did I already read this note? Blank! Could we not? Kitty cat in a box. I'm recording, right? I'm not being stupid here. Go away. Okay, I am recording, and my camera is there. So then, we continue! We're approaching the bottom. Yeah, the volume's gonna be up because I paused it. So it'll keep going, but... There won't be any volume. Until right here! Ah, the good old Resident Evil noise. Let's go. We're gonna be sprinting through some hallways again. Yes, this is the second video I'm doing today. Right here. Oh. Let's try this. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, let's go. Let's get right into it. I remember there was some annoying puppet guy. I hated him like the most out of all of the monsters. Oh great, maze thing. Now well, that's the wrong way because there's a chair sitting handy on the end that usually means it's the wrong way, so I'm gonna go this way. At least there's nothing chasing me, I hope. Now this one's a little bit harder to tell which is the wrong way. But I'm thinking it's the way I'm currently on. It is the way I'm currently on. I was correct. I should have went with my gun instinct then. Here we go! We're going over here. We're walking through this maze part. God, these eat like two minutes of my time just doing this. Eventually, it's probably more like 30 seconds, but still. Oh, the thing again. Do you have any other specimens? Oh no. Active. Total fatalities 189. Method. Physical punctures. A wooden life-size puppet found floating in a reservoir where a town had once been. The specimen is active despite appearance and has proved very effective on subjects who disregard it or have vision impairments. So, a lot of them then. What the heck is that? Type unknown. Total fatalities 93. Method unknown. Specimen is constantly changing form and attributes depending on subject personality, but most common form resembles a wall of moving anatomy symbols. Only effective on subjects with past trauma or a history of psychological issues. Mm. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Type active. Total fatalities, 149. Method absorption. A floating figure that appeared in a test chamber a few years after it was filled with what was believed to just be unusually violent deer. Specimen seems to engulf subjects and absorb them into its torso region. 
Proved extremely effective on violent subjects. So you can't fight it or you'll die. I was gonna say, let's go fisticuffs, but hey. I will try and read this. Type exterminated. Total fatalities 362. Method unknown. A small skull shaped mass of clay that seems to gain more form as subjects were taken, 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 taken. Specimen was deemed too hard to contain and was killed and dismantled by GL Labs. I doubt that. For some reason, I doubt that. Still glitchy. Type docile. Total fatality zero. Method unknown. A worm-like creature that inhabits an old, rundown GL labs. A genetically modified eel that was supposed to be extremely violent, but instead was very passive. Though not effective, it ha was kept as a pet until the facility was abandoned due to specimen. Seventy-two. I'm assuming that one I was just reading about. This one. Type active. Total fatality 317. Method unknown. A floating red figure that was found inside a secret area below a large abandoned corporate office once owned by a restaurant franchise. The specimen is extremely violent and also seems to leave the house at will despite various containment methods. Victims vanish on contact with specimen, but sometimes remains of the victims have been found inside the testing chamber days later. Proved not effective as victims' souls do not remain after contact. So, because souls don't remain, it's not effective? Is that what I'm... There could be other specimens there. Anyway, I've read about all of them now, so I don't need to come back in here, right? Because I can't modify the house thing. That doesn't work. Oh. Oh, I thought it was crashing. I was gonna say, oh, well, screw you then. You probably corrupt my recording with that, though, so... Let me check if it's still recording here. I need to be totally sure. So you guys are going to have a glitch caught on camera. <laughs> there we go. Please, I don't want to deal with the... It's the freaking... I hate this guy. I don't understand him. Got a key. Let's notice first. One day, a strange merchant came to town. He sold handmade puppets and trinkets, and all the children loved his store and his gifts. But the town couldn't support his store because the other shops were failing. The other shopkeepers became jealous, so one night, some of the townspeople took all his puppets and threw them in a river. But just afterwards, he came running to the river, crying and wailing that his children were being drowned. He dove into the river, trying to save his possessions. The townspeople, bitter and still angry, watched him frantically thrash and dive into the river until he never came back to the surface of the water. Okay, so you're jealous that you're not making money, so you murder a man. Essentially, you just... You just allow him to die. Mm. Little beyond what you need to do, but hey... Shopkeepers were satisfied. Years later, the children of the town began to go missing, and as more and more children disappeared, people began to find more and more puppets in the forest and around the river. These puppets seemed almost to look like the missing children sometimes. Probably because that puppet guy is mad and his spirits come back to fucking murder you all. Maybe that's what's going on. Yeah, you didn't think of that, did you? That's too genius, right? I'm assuming I'm gonna have to go over here. 
here with the creepy skull daughter, but... If you could not... Can he 
like go away already? Is he gone? I can't believe I got past that guy. That guy takes me forever usually to get past. I don't like him at all. Oh, it's too bright in this game. I'm gonna hit this one here. What is that? That's not a good noise. I'm gonna keep going. That just so happened to be the right way. And with these maze rooms, what the heck? That's so messed up with a guy to attack you from any angle. Literally, you have to like 360 spin in order to avoid some of these people. Oh, I guess I should be looking for notes, right? Or maybe I should just get the 350 so I can get a safe point. If I get any creature, I hope it's any of them besides that guy. There's a few more creatures after that. I remember there's... Did I turn around somehow? I got turned around? Interesting pain. Looks like I might get lucky and get to 4250 and get a save point. If it does that, if not, then I'm gonna have to go to 4400 and then I'm gonna have to end the video because I'm not going to win forms. Great. That's not promising at all. I just noticed the stuff out there. Oh, there is a note. Oh, it's just blank. Does that mean I found all of the notes? Because they're just blank now. They're just nothing's on them. What is the guy just leaving paper behind? Make sure he doesn't have any more. Okay, I'm actually fine with- No, I'm not. This is the smoke guy, isn't it? Yeah! What?! He was in front of me! That doesn't even seem fair! Loopy hallways like that are crap when it comes to a guy who can port through walls. I have to get to 4400 in order to get a save point. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go through that whole puppet guy again. I can't even see! This is ridiculous! Literally, I can't see two feet in front of me. Like, that's freaking dumb. That guy sounds really close, so I'm gonna keep running. He's not that. I'm dead. I can't! I cannot see. I'm done. I can't see. No. I'm done. I can't see anything with that guy. It's annoying. You can't do that in a game. I must clarify, you can't completely blind the character so they can't see anything. You can't do that. It makes the game annoying, and now I have to go through all of that again because I was going to die anyway because I couldn't see anything. And it turned me around for no reason. I don't even know why. Why do you have 360 mode in this game? This game was great until this point. Until people like that puppet man and that guy. The game was good. But it's just annoying now.
and I may be overly critical about this, but when I cannot see anything literally at all and feel like I have to turn my brightness up all the way on my PC just to see shit, that's annoying. That's very, very annoying. And I really do hope there's a way to skip stuff because I really don't want to go through floor 300 to like almost 400 again because it dicked me over with that. I can't skip there because I wasn't there. Well, I guess I have to go through them again. Fine. Why didn't you make a save point at floor 350? That's annoying. I'm not happy now. Because I have to go through Puppet Dude again. Because I was going to die anyway. Because it screwed me over with the two worst ones to deal with in a row. Literally the random chance of this game is freaking annoying. It's literally RNG based. To see if you're lucky. Like the stupid hallway spawning. Don't make mazes when you have to avoid things too. That doesn't make any sense. Like why would they build a maze in this mansion? Logically, I don't care if it's a ghost doing it or not. They shouldn't just be like, oh, here's a freaking random maze for no reason. And these hallways are so dumb. And like that, what the heck? I didn't even turn very much and it 360 span me. There has to be a sensitivity setting. That's what screwed me over with the smoke guy. I 360 span around and I thought I was at the door. They shouldn't have 360 mode enabled in a game where half the time you're running from something that'll blind you permanently. I'm gonna see if I can get to floor 300, 400, and if I can't, then I'm quitting and we're starting again to tomorrow. Because I really don't want to freaking deal with this. It's already been 30 minutes. I'm not even gonna read the go notes again. I already read them. I'm not happy at all because of that. That's just very annoying. It's not fun. It's annoying. And this is the wrong way, right? Yes, it is. That RNG spawn in the hallways, that loop around, and then being able to face through a wall. I feel like I need adrenaline of 5 million in order to beat half of this game. I'd need a way higher stamina bar than this. Because your stamina runs out so fast, why would you guy even consider coming to this haunted place that clearly has murdered people when he can't run for... Let's test it, hmm? He can run for about 10 seconds, and then he runs out of stamina. That's like the world's shortest run. And here we go again with this. And I know for a fact I'm probably gonna die this time. Cool, thanks. I really love the mazes. I don't know where he- Okay! How'd you know I wanted a maze while I had to avoid somebody who can walk over the gaps? That's fair. I mean, granted, he is a puppet, so that kind of makes sense, but at the same time, screw you. I don't know if he can appear behind me now. Am I even going the right way? No, of course not. There's so little spacing between the running, and it's annoying. And I swear, if he attacks me through a door again, I'm gonna be mad. What did I have to go through last time? Just spawn him so I know where he is.
I don't even know what I went to last time. It had to be like 3.30, 3.40. I just hope he leaves sooner than last time. What? Okay, that's douchey. I have to go through there. Okay, that's douchey. I have to go through there. See, this is what's messed up about this guy. I can't freaking go to the exit now. And I heard him, and if he hits me again, I'm dead. God, why do you get caught on everything? Is he gone? Did he leave? Is it a miracle? I think he's gone. If not, then, oh crap, I'm probably gonna die. And I don't know if I can sit here and gain my health back either, guys. I'm just trying to get to 4400 so I can save it and be done. And then continue again tomorrow with actual progress. But if it gets the smoke guy again, I'm probably gonna die because that's complete... I don't know why he despawns so quickly, but I'm actually glad he did because I don't like dealing with the puppet dude. I don't know what happens later on or if there's a method to get rid of him or not, but I doubt it. What is that? That had some I'm scared stuff like that. Did that make harm? I'm gonna just continue. I'm not even gonna look at that. I just need to get to 4 or 400 and the game won't even let me do that. I'm almost fully healed, so I guess there's that. Although I haven't run into your enemy in 24s. Great, this. Don't even ask. I got lucky. Is there something following me? Am I gonna have to be running for 64s now? My stamina bar isn't very high either. Especially when it 360 spins me for no reason. Great. This is fun. I love the mazes. At least there's nothing following me this time, so they're at least being decent. Oh, it wasn't this side, it was just being deceptive. Oops. Here runs more time. This is gonna be a little longer. This might be almost an hour long. But I'm gonna get there. I think I started recording at like 10.13, it's 10.42 now. Really? I wasn't even near that. See, this is what's annoying about this, is I don't understand the mazes. Other way. Yeah. Like, I don't like them at all. And usually I like mazes, but in a game where you have to run from things, this is a bit annoying. Okay, here we go again. 
I think I quit when I was at Fort 360 something. But I couldn't see anything, and the guy was right on top of me, so clearly I was <laughs> Jesus, that was really loud for a cup of coffee to do. Who's it gonna give me, and is it gonna be fair with the hallways? Oh, I can deal with this. And yes, there's someone following me. She's not playing the music. Oh, I can't deal with that while I'm in here. That's annoying. Maybe it doesn't attack me while I'm in here. Never mind, I'm not even gonna assume that. God, really? He comes here? This isn't even fair! It's a freaking maze! I swear, if this thing is an insta-kill and it catches me, I'm gonna be mad. Get me out of there. I freaking hate mazes. Like, literally, those don't make any sense. The placement of it is just annoying. And those things, literally, why those things? They stop running, but they still eat your stamina while you're not moving. Hey, I'm at 4360. Is the thing gone? I don't see any more holes in the ceiling. That didn't appear very long. But I also could have gone down the wrong way to see them. Why is it that side almost every time? Okay, well I'm gonna pick it this way and hope this is the right way. What the heck is that? I'm gonna just keep running. That thing is not gone. With your stupid little freaking things and their loud noises that hurts my ears. Don't do that. I'm glad I'm not wearing headphones. I might actually make it, guys. If I make it, that would be great because then I can show you more of this game. Otherwise, I'd have to make it to 4 400 while you're not watching off camera. No. No. Oh, it's just a drum thing. I don't know if this is a monster following me or not. Especially since your energy is so short. Why would you make such a long following thing when you know they can't run for like 12 seconds? I feel like I have to take my time here, but at the same time, if something's chasing me down and literally cut across there, I would be screwed. Because I would have to run through it to get to the other side, which I guess I'm glad I never got any of those. 25 more floors, and yes, I'm counting. <laughs> Or 400, I'm gonna have to stop, so I'm not gonna do 150 like I usually do. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna be doing 100 floors from now on, probably, because it'll be a save point, and then I'll have to do 200. I might do 200 in my next one, depending on what I run into, because some of the creatures are annoying to deal with, and I'll probably die by something. I'll have to start all over again, and I wouldn't run through 100 floors, so technically it would be 200. But hey. If I had somehow survived that last time, I would have gone 200. That's a piano. Is Spooky a good piano player, or like... I don't even know. That's a lot of chairs. Are you serious with these? Get rid of these, please. 
I don't like this. Because if there's something that attacks you based on the time you're in a room, which knowing this game, there probably will be, then you're totally gonna die. Whatever, I'm gonna go through. It's almost 11 o'clock game. You're making this run very much longer than it needs to with these. I may have to cut some of them short and pause the game in the middle of it and then upload a another video. Flash ways through. Of course, I play them consecutively one right after the other, but... Here we go. Is it this side again? Why is it always this side immediately? Is there a thing about that? Can it even be the other side though? Well, this one has them different. I've seen this side before be the choice, like right now. I think I only have seven more floors to get past, so we might be able to lose. Is there something after us? Oh! It's the ceiling guy again. I don't know why last time I cut you didn't play a song then. Although we only have two more floors to go, and I can deal with this guy, you just gotta run them all the time. Oh great, thanks! Just as I was stating, we're close to being done. You gotta throw a freaking maze here. I have done, on these 100 floors, almost 15 of these mazes. And about five of them was while I think, oh, great. What? What am I supposed to do? I don't have enough stamina, game. You can't be serious. Okay, well, I'm glad those guys don't do very much damage. I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna do this. Thanks, game. It's saved. I'm at floor 400. I saw that. So, boom. I saved it. Anyway, well, there's another episode of Spooky's not as many floors as it did in the first two parts, but hey... Things change. Guess we should get a little used to some changes. Anyway, thanks, guys. I'll just see you in the next video. Feed.